بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد. Continuing on in our study of the nullifiers of Islam by Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab رحمه الله تعالى where we reach the eighth nullifier or eighth uh, sin which negates a person's iman in entirely entirety or nullifies their their Islam. The Shaykh said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, anyone who assists or aids polytheists against Muslims has disbelieved. The evidence for this is a statement of the Almighty. Whoever from amongst you takes them as allies, then he is surely one of them, and the law does not guide the wrongdoers. This means assisting the polytheists against Muslims. For instance, if there was fighting between disbelievers and Muslims, and someone used means to assist and support the disbelievers against the Muslims, providing wealth or weapons, strategic planning, or even assisting them in plotting, then this individual has fallen into disbelief. This is because this person has preferred the disbelievers to the believers. And this necessitates that they hate Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was a statement of Shaykh Abdulaziz al Raji. Hafizullah Ta'ala. Ibn Hazm said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, it is correct that taking the saying of the Almighty, whoever from amongst you takes them as allies, then he is surely one of them. In its literal meaning is that whoever does this is a disbeliever from amongst the disbelievers in general. And this is correct. And no two Muslims would disagree to this. Sheikh Abdulaziz, uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz al Rais added, the criterion for the love that, constitu that constitutes disbelief is a tawalli, which means loving the disbelievers for their religion or supporting them for its sake and being pleased with it. So if there is assistance without those motives, then it is considered for worldly benefit and it is prohibited and not disbelief. So the scholars, they make a distinction when this kind of uh, cooperation constitutes something sinful or something uh, which takes you out of the fold of Islam. Also, there are other details when this uh, when this also can actually be something that's permissible, like of course selling and buying when it's not supporting against believers. And we will continue to speak about this in our next lesson because there are many, many important details that we want to bring regarding this Naqid min Nawaqid al Islam. And it's imperative that we uh, study this properly and look into the aqwal of the ulama regarding this important uh, qaida and this important uh, principle and the other principles regarding this. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with tawfiq and ikhlas with the battle of sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.